Hey everyone, I want to show you how to uh, print make. I am doing that right now and I feel like a pro at it so I'm going to show YouTube how to print make. Uh, if you don't know what print making is, print making is where we have these um, little tablets that we've carved into and made a picture on and we ink them up and we put them uh, on this thing called a press and then we put a paper on them and we uh, pull this blanket down and we roll that little I don't know what to call it yet I'm telling them a pro and I don't even know what it's called but we roll this and it puts pressure on the plate and the paper then becomes imprinted with our ink stamp and I will show you the process of it right now so uh, this is how I've been doing it. I'm sure you know you can do this a hundred million ways. I mean, sure, some of it's going to be, you know, the same as everyone, but I have been inking it first multiple times in different directions. I'm, I'm a bit of an overkill, but these have to be exact for my assignment, so I want to get them as inked up as possible without inking them too much, if you can do that. I don't even know if you can see this. I haven't been paying attention. I'm looking at my hands right now. Okay. I'm going to let that sit for a while. And I am going to grab a wet piece of paper. The reason why it's wet is because it, uh, the wetness helps absorb or helps the, the fibers in the paper to absorb the ink so it makes a better print essentially and I am trying to dry it off a little bit because we don't want it too wet I'm not really sure why but I don't argue with the methods that's like three hundred dollars by the way if anyone is wondering Okay, we've done that once. Now let's come back and ink it because I am just a freak like that. Ink it some more. I mean, need some more ink. Ah, I got some on my hands. I was hoping not to do that. There's another process I was hoping to get rid of, which was washing my hands. I wash them a lot so I don't get the ink on the paper and ruin it because there's already ink on it and ink that I don't want. But I'm guessing I am going to have to uh, show you how to wash your hands. Very uh, complicated stuff here. I maybe put too much ink on there. Ah, that's okay. All right, let's go wash our hands. Cause I am messy. We have um, an artist, his name is Jeff. I don't know if he's in there or not, actually. I didn't look, I was looking at the screen. Someone turned my life off. They're playing with me. Let's see if I can put that up there. I don't know if you can see me or not. You can see the whole face. Well, anyways. Uh, Jeff is an animator, and he's from New York, and he's uh, made a bunch of animations, of course. He does cartoons and things, and uh, he got a start in New York. He uh, got a lot of commissions. I don't really know the whole story, but he got a lot of commissions. Like MTV uh, had him do some weird bubblegum thing that I saw a long time ago, 
and he is here doing a show and showing us cartoons and we will look at them and we will be like they are great because that's what we do unless we really don't like someone <laughs> we roll with anything for the most part all right I am done washing my hands hope I don't get my iPod all wet Oh, hang hey, there's some skeleton people. Some weird guy looking at us. He looks into our soul. Huh, already. Well, let's see, what am I going to do? I am going to ink up again, because that is what this class is about. We are about inking things and then printing them, but mostly about inking. All right, let me check. I need to make sure this thing is clean, which is not. So we can't have random ink on our paper because it is illegal, except for the ones that we put on on purpose. Now I'm going to check my paper. And if all is well, I will probably start the printing process. Yeah, I think it's it feels okay. Ink up one more time. And we will go with it. Pick up our paper, hopefully, on the ends and not get any ink all over them. It's kind of awkward now that I only have one hand. Let's see if I can do it. Uh, hope I didn't smudge that. I really hope I didn't, because I want this one to turn out good. Because it's going on YouTube. Ah, now the fun roly poly oly part. I'm glad I didn't need to use my hands for that too. Sometimes you need to help it out. And there we are. We are printed. That is my print. It is a work of art, says I. I have four others just like it. <laughs> Go figure. I'll be getting one more in a sec, too. Hey, uh, I don't know. Would you guys like to see that again? I will show it to you again if you want. Yes? You do? Okay. Let's do it again. This is exciting stuff. Oh, I'm gonna need to put you down, I think. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able... Reach up there and clip it. All right. Well, here we start the process all over again. I feel like I should talk about something now because I've already shown you this. Maybe I should have had a history lesson in this or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that would have been too boring. Who knows? So do you guys do any printmaking? I, uh, I'm presuming you like art if you're YouTubing it or something, or maybe you just ran across my channel. <laughs> I feel awkward now. We need another piece of paper. I messed one up earlier. 
I actually had a hair on it, and I would have maybe possibly let it go, but it was somewhere kind of important. I'll show it to you actually, maybe right now. Right there, there's a hair on it, and it messed up my ink, and my grade partly is on having something exactly the same as the five others. So I could not roll with it. Especially since my teacher was here and watching. I think I just got some ink all over that paper. I think I just saw that. Well, there's some on the corners, but I can cut that out. It's not too important, I guess. Alright, let's ink this up a little bit more and then wash our hands. I wonder if they left the gallery open. That would be awesome. Awesome. Staring to our soul. Oh, they closed it. At least they left my light on in there this time. Octopus. Oh, do they still have that thing in here? Oh, they do not have that thing in here. Let's do, oh, that's, that's right. It's in another room. Oh, well, I'll show it to me later, maybe. <sighs> I wonder if I can do it this way. That's a little bit better. I think I don't have to stand up this time. Hey, I'm wearing Edgar Allan Poe, by the way. I don't know if anyone noticed that, but Edgar Allan Poe's awesome. I just like his Nevermore poem, actually. I don't really know anything about him. I don't like the Raven one. I, it, it gets... Wait, no, is that the Nevermore? No, that is the Nevermore. Forget that. Scratch that. <laughs> it's a different one I'm thinking of then. I don't remember. My favorite medium to use, this is a, a random thing thing since I'm not doing anything interesting. My favorite medium is watercolor. I love watercolor because it is awesome and you can make some awesome colors with it and you can get some really wet looking pictures. Ooh, hey, this is the poster. Idiot land. Gary Lieb. Lieb. Something weird. I don't know. If anyone knows who that is, I don't know. Comet or something. He's pretty cool, though. He's funny. He uh, talks with a funny accent sometimes. I think he might be part Jewish or something. It was really funny that listening to him talk. I was uh, in a, a computer class, and he came in because he does all these animations. I don't remember where my paper is, so I'm just going to roll across. And then we will ink up again. getting close to the end so let's make sure this thing is clean which I'm guessing it's not I never clean it I never remember like afterwards so I always have to right beforehand remember it'd be quite, quite traumatic if I didn't because I'd have to redo one of them 
and I wouldn't like it. Uh, can I pick it up without inking? Alrighty. Hope those are all dry ink spots. Oh, it's on this side. Uh, I may have to push it forward just a bit. And roly-poly-oly, small and square and round. I really don't know the rest of the song, so I'm glad this thing is done. Hooray! Hooray! And here we go. That looks fairly close. It's kind of... I don't know. It's not dark enough. Let's compare and contrast. Uh, I think this one's a little bit too light. I'm going to have to redo this one. It stinks. Well, oh well. Maybe if someone really wants this coffee, or the other one I messed up, I'll send it to you. I don't know. Leave a comment or PM me or something. Bye.